also coming what Saturday ends on the big wrestling week for yep. wrestling fans. You got the WWE NXT what takeover? Is it takeover or is the it Survivor, War Games? Survivor Series and then. No, you got War Games. Is it War? I see. I don't know. Is it takeover or is it War Games? They normally they call it takeover, but they, I, I is it? I don't know. War we're going to say War Games. War, war Games is normally we going to Yeah, we're going to say War Games because it's the big highlights of that baby view. Then you got Survivor Series. But NXT come first, so we're going to hit it first. That damn pay-per-view only got three matches. Yeah, I'm not shocked. Me neither once I looked at all that. Right, but you now, they might that. add in another one. But just take a look. But no, I know. I see it. Yeah. people who are going to yeah. be on Survivor Series. Yeah. So... I took that in consideration, but then I, cause I was like, yo, some of them fighters, especially on the speed air, they going to be having the wrestling in, the, in one war game, man. And that's Kate, man. That's tough. Now, they probably don't have to do that much when they fight in the uh, Survivor Series um, elimination, man. They ain't going to have to wrestle that much. So they probably, it ain't, it ain't like Vince really care. I heard them stories about the, the harder bars, the Dudleys and Edge. Then they're breaking their backs and stuff on the TLC and then come back and wrestle another match and neck neck. So they, mm-hmm. they don't really care about that. Um, but yeah, we're gonna start off first with the first match, which just kind of spur of the moment, it just happened. Unless something else happened this Wednesday, we doing it. We shoot this on Tuesday, so things may change. And if it does, sorry. Uh, Finn Balor versus Matt Riddle. Um. Also, how do you feel about Finn Balor and his heel persona as it has been for the first couple of weeks? Uh, you know, of course, this is the first time that he's been a heel. Uh, now, unless you count New Japan and you didn't watch New Japan. I think that it's been pretty good so far. Um, I think going up against Riddle is a good match. I think they'll put on the show. Um, I think... Something about him, Matt Riddle sometimes make me not like him. Maybe because he talks so much. Yeah, it's not the stuff Off in camera, the ring. Though. It's the yeah. stuff outside of the yeah, ring that gets to Make me yeah. think, like, yeah, shut up. Um, <laughs> so, I think it's going to be a good match. I would go with Finn Balor, you know, with him coming on. And it's his first match back in NXT. Mm-hmm. I think he'll take it. Um, but as a fan... I would love for the feud not just to end because after the is, first yeah. one, but they'll continue to do it, you know, weeks down the line. Because I like both of these guys. Because and, in that, like, sorry to cut y'all, but that was my thing. I was like, yo, like, how the hell did he get that match and not Johnny Gargano? Because matter of fact, now that I think about it, Johnny, I ain't seen Johnny Gargano yeah, since he got dropped. Like, like, like. <laughs> Which you ain't seen Johnny Wrestling and you haven't seen Velveteen. Now, see, that's the thing. I was going to put him in that um, uh, war game match against the Undisputed Era. That's why I was going to wait for that one. No. Oh. Yeah, because I haven't seen them them two guys. And, you know, they were sta- two of their staples in NXT yeah. before they became on, on television. So, um, yeah. And, you know, that's the. When he came back, that's the guy he really had the feud with. When he yeah, came back. So I don't know if he had some type of injury or, mm. or he going to show up and, you know, interfere in this match. Probably so, because that was, I was like, wait, when they was, especially because I watched, like, that clip of it. I was like, Finn Balor was outside, like, out there talking, and then all of a sudden, Matt Riddle comes out, and then Tyson Marv, and I'm like, why he do that for? And yeah. Then he came out there on the speed and started finna dive on him. So it was like, don't you got a feud already with under undisputed air? Why are you so trying- Yeah, but everybody got a feud with undisputed air. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they got all the belts. <laughs> so no, I was like, huh? But yeah, I think uh Finn Battle will take this one. I won like, cause I seen him talking about this new heel character where it's supposed to be taking every aspect of all of his Personas, I guess you could say, from New Japan, from the Demon and Finn Balor, and he mixed it into one. So, like, we never, maybe this would be better because, you know, that's my only criticism of Finn Balor that I like him more as the Demon. Yeah, everybody do. So, maybe with the heel 
now, like I said, I didn't watch like I watched clips of him when he was in New Japan and he was the heel. He's still dressed up every now and then, but maybe he won't do it as much. So, yeah, we'll we'll see. Maybe Finn Balor the heel is better than Finn Balor the face. Yeah. But moving on to the what is it, the war games? Well, which one do I want to tackle first? I guess I'm going to tackle the men's side first because it's the first time for the women. We'll say that for last. They're probably going to be the main event anyway. And Undisputed Era versus, who is it, Tommaso Ciampa, Keith Lee, D-Jack. Is it D-Jack? D- I don't know how to say that dude's name. I know, yeah. I don't know how to say that dude's name. And they haven't, like, because Matt Riddle moving on to be fighting uh, Finn Balor, I'm saying that it was going to be Velveteen Dream. We ain't seen him in almost... So it's like the first show. Yeah. And I think the first show, then the second show, he got jumped. And I don't remember them ever saying that he was injured. Yeah. And so, that's why, like, I, I always, before that dude, DJ, interjected himself into this match, I was saying that, yo, Velveteen was going to be the fourth person. But then Matt Riddle left, and then he came back. And, and then I didn't know whether Matt Riddle was going to be a part of it because I think, yeah, he was out there fighting with them. But then they announced that, hey, he's going to be fighting Finn Balor. So, though, I'm like, no, nah, Finn, like, now Johnny Gagano could pop up in that match. He could. But, like I said, he didn't get beat up by them. He got beat up by Finn. So, I would think that he would be more mad at Finn for dropping him than the Undisputed Era. Now, if everything, he got a good thing, a good reason to want to fight them because one, uh, Roger Scrone stole his belt. And then White Scarlet helped him. Helped him win that match, um, Adam Cole. Yeah, Adam Cole, and then they, I think they jumped him the next night and left him out. So I feel like he got a good reason to come back in this match. Who I think gonna win? That's kind of hard because it seems like honestly, no, it ain't. why? Man, please, Campo, Keith Lee on the same side? No, no. That's a that's a lot of hard hitting dudes there. Now I love undisputed era. They probably like my favorite thing to going on in NXT, but I got to go with Keith Lee. And Keith Lee and DJ basically on the same team with no, Campo. Yeah. And then you tell me if we could get Johnny or Velveteen too on that team? Yeah, I got to go with them guys. But no, I get the reason why I sit there because I think the last couple of war games that they was in, they won all of them. Yeah. And so, now they might be the cause for them to lose because they didn't want all of them. And, like, yeah, because they didn't want all of them, and now they all of them the champion. So, yeah, maybe. But, yeah, that was my thought. You got Tommaso Ciampa. I got Undisputed Era. We're going to go bump head with that we gonna one. We're going to fight it out, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, they're going to fight it out for us. We ain't going to do the fighting. Now, going on to the women's. War game, who are what the champion Shauna Baszler, the UK champion Kaylee Ray, yeah. which is stupid. I just want to point that out. I seen that girl real name. Her name is Kaylee Ray, but then for some reason they said, "Hey, let's put K and then Lee spelled L E E." And wait, why y'all just didn't leave it? You know why Vince did that? Vince no, that no was rights. Triple H them. <laughs> But yeah, they want those rights. And then when so the name yeah, and yeah. everything. And they were like, "What? Why y'all just didn't? Why y'all do that? Smart business." No, it ain't. And then, cause I didn't even know she was in the match. Now I watched a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she of that. the one came out and heard of million. Yeah, yeah. Million. Yeah. Now cause I was finna see in that match. I I watched a little bit of that match and then I caught the ending and I'm like. Who the hell is that girl with the championship with the red hair standing <laughs> yeah. next to uh, EO and, uh, what's her name? Got Bianca Bella. Because Shauna yeah. Baszler had came out to like, yeah, we got it. And then mm-hmm. got her dropped by Bailey. <laughs> so, and that was another thing I meant to ask you, too. Do you think that any of the, like, I know Wednesday haven't happened yet. And Triple H opened the doors up for Raw and SmackDown. Do you think that any of them will interfere in the uh, war games pay per view in next day. Yeah. I think I'm telling you like they should. The last the last uh I ain't gonna lie, also 
Survivor Series build up is always probably my favorite pay per view. Yeah, mostly because and, of all the attacking. And you know, NXT last Wednesday was one of the best shows that they have got, put out. Uh, uh, it I heard was, somebody else say that too. Yeah, it was tremendous. What's uh, it was tremendous, and I think this week, tomorrow, I think we're gonna get another great show. I really do. Hopefully so. Love good in time. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. And then on the other side, you got who? You got uh, Candice LeRae, mm-hmm. Mia Yim. Is Mia Yim going to be in this match? I'm telling you, man, Mia Yim wrestled that Friday. She was in a uh, four, like, four-way uh, tag team match between Rhea Ripley. Not, I mean, with Rhea Ripley and some other chicks. Against Sasha Banks and Summer Rae. Not Summer Rae, but uh, what a girl name, man. Mm, Thinking about those nudes. No, it wasn't. Um, I it was me. Yeah, it was. And some other people. And, yeah, and Nigga Crowd. I, I forget other. No, it was Dana Brooke and um, Corey Gray's girlfriend. Kamala. Come, yeah, Kamala. Well, I couldn't get that out. I don't know why. But, yeah, she, they said she was in that match. So, she she all right. Now, she hurting. Man, they got she hurting. She had a right. <laughs> Nose and then fractured ribs. Yeah, she hurting. So now they could use now they. I think they were trying to tease that, but they didn't know that she was gonna get hurt for real with the girl, uh, Dakota Kai. But I know she's supposed to come in and help, try to help her, and then she got butt beat down. So I know it what real Ripley, Candice Ray, Million, and who else? Is it a girl Tegan Knox? In that match, it one it one of them girls. I know that much. And they're going to have the first ever War Games for women. Yeah, I got it right. Who you got? And then you also got to take in Shauna Bailey ain't coming out that by herself. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how them two other girls going to get in the ring, but she ain't coming I, out that by herself. I, I'm, man. I, listen, bro. I got to go with Shane Baszler team. And the reason why is because they got a bad tricks. All the girls on there, I love. I love all of those girls. I love Shirai. I love Bianca Blair. And the other girl, I don't know much, a whole lot about her. Yeah, but she can't. scrapped She's, it out as well. Mm-hmm. I'm going to have to take them. And that was my thing. I don't think about it. Like, I thought that. Well, because, you, and then, you know, you got. Yeah, they got an influx of the old talent from every now and then with the yeah. dude Walter. Walter, yeah, they bring him over. And uh, so I was like, "Why did this and try to get that girl Tony Storm? Because Tony Storm, that who that girl Kaylee Ray beat for that belt, Tony Storm." Yeah, yeah that's um, how. Mm, I just thought that out there, but yeah, I want to see the match because like that match between Million and Io Shirai. I think that, no, that has it been the first ladder match. Female ladder match in it, NXT. It, 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 if not, it was the most brutal one. Yeah. It, was, it was the most brutal yeah, was, uh, man because when, um, when she fell off that ladder, she hit so hard. I was like, <laughs> you know, I told you that night. I was like, man, I think she may be hurt. But it was another bump before that. Yeah, when she got hit in the face with the ladder. Yeah, it was another one because I seen like, um, I think on Twitter, people were talking like, yo, mm-hmm. is she hurt? Mm-hmm. Before that, but then I was like, she got up. Yeah, <laughs> she got up and got right back in the mess, and then yeah, it was. I turned the TV and you were like, yeah, she felt like, <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she felt like, she felt, yeah, and I, and I was like, because you know they had, you know the outside, um, ring, mm-hmm. cage, whatever to keep the fans in, and they had a ladder from the uh, ring to that, and then she was up on the ladder trying to get the title. So little Shawty came out and the she briefcase. yeah to get the briefcase she pushed her off and she just hit and it was like boom and it broke the letter now you know me and ain't the biggest of people out here now yeah. she's small something but when she went through the letter she broke it, it, it but it, she it was a hit prop letter. she hit hard she hit there was no goddamn prop letter she just went through that one <laughs> she went through it and like and you heard it and you heard it it was like boom I was like. Oh shit! And now, and the referees and the other people that was out there, they came over there. Cause as soon as she hit, you saw her fold up, 
You know, sometimes when they fall off, off the ladder, they act like it knocked them out or something like that. But when she fell off there, you seen her grab them ribs and her quenching. And I was like, no, nah, I think she hurt. No, nah, I, th I, think, I think she may be hurt. Get up. Well, she should have had a big ass boyfriend come out there and carry it. Yeah, I was like, back. get up. Because, you know, me and Yen, she's one of my favorite down there. But I said, no, nah, I think she just she didn't hurt herself. Yeah. But it was a good match. Well, I guess, cause like I said, we were recording early. So, we'll see whether she's going to participate in that match by today or Saturday. Yeah, who knows? We'll get back to y'all Thursday or Friday. Yeah, hit that like button, people. Subscribe to the channel. Drop a comment. Let us know are you excited for this NXT War Games pay per view. Even though. Yes, 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 uh, yes, yes. Even though they yes. don't got that many uh, matches, they don't really need that many matches. Not with the War Game thing. Them thing yeah. going to be about an hour. Yeah. I mean, about 30, 40 minutes long each. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll see.